Hi YouTube, I'm Tim and welcome to my DVD and Blu-ray update number two for April 2018. I've received two more packages from Amazon Prime. I've got an Amazon deep discount. Yeah, deep discount store has a store on Amazon, so I've got I believe it's a DVD coming from them. Can't remember. Yeah, it's a DVD coming from Deep Discount. And then I have one Blu ray coming from the UK from 88 Films. So those two should be in my third update video for April. But last time I showed off the first two. DVD and Blu-ray packages I I got of new DVD and Blu-ray buys. And since then, I've opened up two of the four new Blu-rays I've gotten. Two Shout Factory Blu-rays of Scream Factory edition of William Castle's The Night Walker, originally put out by Universal Pictures, and then the Shout Select line edition of Making County Line, a 70s drive-in revenge thriller, well, a, hic a exploitation revenge thriller from the 1974, shown in drive-ins via American International Pictures. It starred real-life brothers Alan Vint and Jesse Vint playing playing brothers Chris and Wayne Dixon and then Max Bayer who was Jethro on the Beverly Hillbillies play is a sheriff who mistakes the, the two of them for the men who murdered his wife so he goes out on revenge against the two wrong men. So a case of mistaken identity. So I opened this up see if they did any reverse cover art work like they did on Streets of Fire and it's just a scene from the movie and Shout Factory sometimes does this where they instead of just doing a reverse artwork on the inside it's to We'll just have a scene from the movie, and there's the Blu-ray with the girl. And I believe that's Jesse Vint right there, and that's probably his brother Alan Vint. In a car, bare-chested. That's all that's on the other side of the cover art. It's not reversible and Nightwalker, something similar. No reversible Scream Factory artwork. Like they usually do on stuff like this. Just get the disc with the, as the same as the front cover. And then... And just a black and white image from this movie since the movie is in black and white. Not sure if that's really a lady or if that's just a guy wearing a mask. So I don't think that that is Barbara Standwick right there. Or maybe it is her. It's just not a good photo. But you see a hand raising, coming up through what looks like somebody's gonna fall 
through a hole in the floor going down into another story of a two-story house. I can't tell if that's really Barbara Standwick or if it's just somebody in a disguise. It's just not a good photo. But I just had to show those off first. But now on with up update number two that I was just showing you what was on the inside of the, those covers from Blu-rays in the last time's update. And I'm running a defragmenter right now on my computer. So I don't know if that's going to affect this video at all. But I received two packages. One was in an envelope as usual and the rest weren't in a box but it was five different DVDs so I just put them all in the box. One's a DVD Blu-ray combo pack from Vinegar Syndrome. It's a satanic cult erotic horror. Not really a porno but a little bit sexual. In the year 1954, three women claimed to have made love to the devil himself. Lucifer's Women. And this is one that Al Adamson got the rights to and he recut the film into a new movie called Dr. Dracula, which was pretty tame compared to this. This one's pretty, gets pretty erotic. It doesn't get into hardcore porn territory, but it, it does get erotic, so this was pretty much intended for just adults. It not as in it was por a, a porno film, but it just with the talk about sex and all their eroticism, it was just meant for adults. Acclaimed author John Wainwright has developed an interest in Satanism and black magic. Hoping to manipulate him to suit his own perverse desire, Wainwright's publisher, Sir Stephen, convinces him to perform the ultimate black rite, a human sacrifice. Selecting a beautiful burlesque dancer to be their victim, Wainwright begins having doubts about his beliefs as Sir Stephen becomes more and more preoccupied with the black arts and murder. Directed by Paul Aratao, China Girl, and starring prolific stage performer Larry Hankin, as well as erotic film stars Paul Thomas and Claire Dia, Lucifer's Women is a slow burn study in satanic obsession with black mass scenes supervised by Anton LaVey, Founder of the Church of Satan, never released on home video and long assumed lost, Vinegar Syndrome is proud to present the home video debut of this forgotten shocker newly restored from recently unearthed negative elements. Also included is an all-new restoration of Al Adamson's schizoid reworking of the film titled Dr. Dracula. And doc the, doc the Dr. Dracula cut has been out on DVD before, but... The original cut, Lucifer's Women, hadn't been. And in fact, there's a. I found the trailer for Lucifer's Women on YouTube, but there doesn't seem to be any trailer for Dr. Dracula, which is weird. That. That Al Adamson wouldn't have had a trailer available for the for the reworked version special features newly scanned and restored in 2k from 35 millimeter negative elements commentary track with sam sherman producer of dr dracula video interview with paul thomas 
actor. Yeah, he's an actor. An original theatrical trailer for Lucifer's Women, digital essay by Sam Daikon, reversible cover artwork, English SDH subtitles, so deaf and hard of hearing, directed by Paul Erato, Lucifer's Women, director Al Adamson, Dr. Dracula, starring Larry Hankin, Paul Thomas, Claire Dia, and John Carradine's in the in the Dr. Dracula cut, and then Don Redberry, Jeffrey Land, Regina Carroll. I'm assuming she's just in the Dr. Dracula cut since I believe she was just a regular to the Al Adamson movie since she was married to Al Adamson. And then Susie E. Wing, and from 1974, 182 minutes combined, so that's combining both cuts of the film, 1.85 widescreen. Assuming it, it's anamorphically enhanced. Mono HD audio and English subtitles for deaf and hard of hearing. Region ABC and then it's DVD and Blu-ray but no ratings. But I'm thinking Lucifer's Women was probably would have been at least an R rating, if not X, but not triple X. And then I believe Dr. Dracula is probably PG. Um, I am going to open this up and reverse the cover artwork. Even though I've heard that Dr. Dracula sucks, it, I think most people that are complaining about that cut or just into more porno films than horror. It, and I asked, and it's not, Lucifer's Women is not a hardcore porn. It's sexual, but it's not really porn. The trailer for it does make it sound like an erotic film for adults. Just without hardcore porn stuff. Or maybe softcore. Although I don't know. It's not exactly... I don't think it's exactly a Skinamax movie. Okay, we're getting this off. Shrink wrap is off, so I just want to tear this thing off at the top. 13 minutes in, I've got I just cut my fingernails because they were getting too freaking dirty. Easier to keep clean when they're shorter. I can't tear things with my, my fingernails as well once I clip them down to size. And it looks like I nicked out, yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but I broke, part of the case is broken right there. So I will need to replace, I cannot, yeah, it is broken, there's a piece broken off there, so I'm not too happy about that, but. I think that might have been more Amazon Prime's fault than my own. I cannot find any broken piece of plastic case anywhere. Well, I'll have to get some replacement cases sometime.
there you see the DVD has the Dr. Dracula version cover art. There's John Carradine down there. Well, the Blu-ray has Lucifer's Women. So I'm going to reverse this. And it's Dr. Dracula on the reverse side, so probably upset a few of my Facebook friends doing this. I'm not into pornography. And I think that bearded goatee guy right there is from some of the footage left over from Lucifer's Women, that guy in the middle right there. Above that white skinned lady and that lady. So, that guy, and I think those images and the text other than the title are just the same. So, Lucifer's Women, which later became Dr. Dracula. And then a while back I had subscribed to Nightlight plus on the internet and I canceled my subscription for now is it's gone they raise a the price from twenty nine ninety nine to thirty nine ninety nine and I've already I got in my yearly subscription before the change but I've had it for probably two years now I've I've paid but I'm not I just cannot afford it right now. I don't have as much time to watch streaming video as I'd like to, but one movie I'd heard that got shown on Night Flight when it was on USA Network is a rock and roll movie called Rude Boy starring The Clash, so I bought the DVD. I don't think there's any Blu-ray. And it's set in the UK, 1978, filmed as a fictional documentary. This followed Ooze Ray, Ray Gange, as he quits his job in a London sex shop to become a roadie for the most exciting live band in the country, The Clash. Part character study, part rockumentary, Rude Boy portrays the disillusionment of youth at a time of economic decline in late 70s Britain. At the center of it all, however, is the most stunning, furiously alive and visually superior footage of the clash that has ever been recorded. Filmed on the road with the band during their 1978 clash on patrol and sorted out UK tours, the film captures the frantic, or the friend, the frenetic, Live energy of one of the rock, of rock's most influential and exciting bands, with digitally remastered audio and loads of fantastic extras, this long-awaited DVD releases the Clash doc document that fans have been waiting for, and it main feature runs 127 minutes. Stars Ray Gadge and the Clash. With Joe Strummer, Mick Jones, Paul Simon, Nick Hedon. Special features digitally restored and remastered sound. Interview with Rude Boy Ray Gange. Interview with Clash Road Manager Johnny Green. Interview with filmmaker Jack Hazen. 
interview with filmmaker David M Menge, two bonus live tracks that never made the final cut, four deleted scenes, the 1980 theatrical trailer, Just Play the Clash, Songs Menu, Clash Photo Gallery, and two rare 1978 BBC performances, and I'll tear the sticker off here. It doesn't say if it's widescreen or not. So Rude Boy starring The Clash and Ray Gange. It's region zero, but it's formatted for US DVD and Blu-ray players. It's from Legacy Recordings, Epic Records, and Sony. And then I bought an out-of-print DVD. I, there's a Blu-ray out, but Mill Creek put it out. And I'm kind of reluctant to get much of their Blu-rays, since they always seem to have the compression problems, since they're more of a budget label, but... So I got the Out of Print Anchor Bay DVD of the Hard Bodies collection featuring Hard Bodies and Hard Bodies 2. I'm assuming it's just both movies on one disc. It doesn't say if it's two disc or if it's double sided. But they're both anamorphically enhanced widescreen 1.85 English subtitles for deaf and hard of hearing. Mono audio on both movies, and they're both rated R. Hard Bodies is 87 minutes, while Hard Bodies 2 is 88. And Hard Bodies voted one of the best 80s teen sex comedies of all time by Entertainment Weekly. When three middle-aged geezers move into a swinging beach house, they hire a young stud to teach them how to score with the local beauties. Courtney Gaines, Children of the Corn, Darcy Demos, Reform School Girls, 80s Band Vixen, and hundreds of, th hundreds of Southern California's hottest swimsuit models co-star in the legendary cult comedy that Mr. Skin calls astounding, a gaggle of gaga-making girlies. <laughs> then Hard Bodies 2, brill or blindingly brilliant Mr. Skin. Sorrel Pickard and Roberta Collins take their adventures overseas in the sequel about a crew of bonehead American filmmakers in the steamy Greek Isles where topless hotties speak universal language of love. And I don't know what, you know, they don't mention what Sorrel Pickard and Roberta Collins were also in, but. I know Roberta Collins was in a lot of Roger Corman productions like Death Race 2000. Brenda ba Backey, American Gothic, James Kieran, Return of the Living Dead, and I believe he was also in Poltergeist. And Fabiano Udenio, Summer School, all, and almost every gorgeous nymph in Europe co-star in this flesh-filled follow-up. So, Hard Bodies Collection, Hard Bodies 1 and 2, and it's the Anchor Bay one, so looks like it's out of print. And then I got the Film Detectives Restored Classics Edition of the 1954 Public Domain Drive-In Flick, Killers from Space, and it's 1.33 three full frame, but I'm assuming it's, whatchamacallit, uh, open mat. But I did find a widescreen version on Internet Archive that looks decent. And it's 
1953, 71 minutes, black and white, it's region free. Stars Peter Graves and James C. Directed by W. Lee Wilder. Classic B-movie elevated greatly thanks to a solid central performance from dependable Peter Graves, The Night of the Hunter and TV's Mission Impossible. After a brilliant nuclear scientist, scientist Douglas Martin Graves is abducted by aliens, he attempts to warn the government of the aliens' nefarious plans to exterminate humanity using giant insects and reptiles, only to be met with understandable skeptics from the FBI. Left to defend the planet on his own, Martin must use his intellect to concoct a plan that will stop the aliens in their tracks before they get a chance to carry out their scheme. And there's the aliens. with what looks like homemade eyeballs pasted over their eyes. I think someone else who bought this off of Amazon showed some screen caps and they looked pretty clear, so... Film detectives the same as whatchamacallit, uh, film chest, so... It should be better picture quality than most of the public domain DVD releases. And then, Code Red DVD release, it's also available on Blu-ray. I still like to get DVDs. This one's a comedy. Welcome to the Comedy Club where young comics make every night a riot night. The Funny Farm, starring Howie Mandel. Welcome to the comedy club where young comics make every night riot night. Now they're taking their act to the streets in this funny and warm look at what goes on behind the scenes when a young comic makes his way into the stand-up comedy scene, starring comedy great Howie Mandel, Walk Like a Man, Little Monsters, and A Fine Mess, Tracy Bergman, Happy Birthday to Me, and Concrete Jungle, Miles Chapin, Funhouse, and French Postcards, Peter Aykroyd, Dan's brother, yeah, Dan Aykroyd's brother, and Mike McDonald, veteran Steve Allen, and Jack Carter, and Academy Award nominee Eileen Brennan, Private Benjamin and Murder by Death, and she was in the movie of the board game Clue. Now see this film from a brand new HD Master. Special features brand new 2016 HD Master from the original IP Interpositive. On camera interview with star Tracy Bregman in the original trailer. It's rated R. 1983 New World Pictures, exclusively licensed from Lake Shore Entertainment, so. I believe that's Image Entertainment, owns Lakeshore, which is later New World titles that Roger Corman doesn't own any anymore because he sold the company around, I thought he sold it in 1984, but I guess some later, some of them went whoever bought up the company from Roger Corman. It's 91 minutes anamorphic widescreen 1.78 region 0. And I don't think there's any it's probably not any reverse cover artwork. Alright. I think that's just their original cover artwork, so it's fine. It doesn't need I don't think it really needs much any of anything else. It's just another comedy. 
don't know if you'd call this a teen sex comedy, like Hard Bodies, but it's R-rated comedy. <laughs> I believe it's a, a Canadian production, but it's... I think they did do it, shoot this in Southern California. So that's it. That's all I had to show, so... Let me recap. From last time... I just showed off the insides to these two Blue Shout Factory Blu-rays. No reversible cover, just a scene from the movie on the insides of these. So that was from update number one for April 2018. So here we go to recap this update number two. We had showed off the DVD Blu-ray combo pack of Lucifer's Women, a.k.a. Dr. Dracula from Vinegar Syndrome. And then the Sony DVD of the rock and roll movie Rude Boy starring The Clash. And Ray Gange. It's a movie that was shown on USA's Night Flight back in the 80s. And the outer print DVD of the Hard Bodies collection, starring or featuring Hard Bodies and Hard Bodies 2, two 80s teen comedies. And then. The film detected restored edition of the public domain drive-in creature feature flick, Killers from Space, starring Peter Graves. And last but not least, the Kino distributed Code Red DVD edition of the 80s comedy movie, The Funny Farm, starring Howie Mandel, Eileen Brennan and Tracy Bregman, who was also in the Women in Prison movie, the Concrete Jungle, which is also out on DVD from Code Red via Kino Lorber, and then the Blu-ray Ronin Flicks has. But this is The Funny Farm, which Kino Lorber is distributing the Blu-ray as well as the DVD, which I'll probably get the Blu-ray at another time, but it's always nice to have some DVD copy, since I only have the one Blu-ray player back, back there in my bedroom. It's DVD player. PC over here, it's just a DVD player. So that is it for my DVD and Blu-ray update number two for April 2018. Keep an eye out for update number three coming soon to my YouTube channel. So I'm Tim, and thanks for watching.